Hey everyone, it's September 14th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share with Australian serial killer John Leslie Coombs, who murdered twice in the 80s and then again 25 years later. And that is him right up there. Born in Victoria, Australia in 1954, Coombs had a tough childhood, being a victim of child abuse, and psychologists have said that it was such a defining factor in his upbringing that his later murders were related to this trauma. In February of 1984, Coombs and an accomplice killed a man while on a fishing trip, first stabbing him, then mutilating his body by running it over with a motorboat. Nine months later, he stabbed a man to death in his home with the help of another accomplice after a night of heavy drinking and drug use. They were immediately picked up in charge with murder for the second crime, and a year later were convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Coombs escaped in 1988, but was returned to prison after three days on the lam. On appeal, his sentence was cut in 1990, and Coombs was released on parole in October of 1996. Two months later, he was picked up and put on trial for the first murder, being convicted and sent back to prison. In 2007, he was released on parole, and all hoped he would have a productive life post-imprisonment. But in August of 2009, a tattooed leg washed up on the shore of Phillip Island, which sits just south of Melbourne. Days later, more parts washed ashore on the beaches in the area, and after an appeal to the public, the tattoo led authorities to identify the victim, a 27-year-old childcare worker. The woman had taken in two teen runaways, giving them a place to live. Having two extra mouths to feed, she began selling drugs to make ends meet, but started using the crystal meth she was selling. Coombs was her boss at her day job, and when she told him about what had happened in her life, the two decided to seek out the men who were supplying the drugs she was selling and kill them to free her from the drug trade. They went to his girlfriend's house on Phillip Island to make their plans, but the victim confessed that she had let her supplier sexually abuse the teens in her care in exchange for relieving her of her financial obligations. Remembering his own abuse as a child, Coombs became incensed at hearing this and strangled her to death. He took her body into the bathroom and cut it up in the bathtub before placing the parts in plastic bags and dumping them in the water. Immediately after the murder, he went to bed with his girlfriend and had sex with her, apparently finding the act of murder arousing. She was in love with Coombs and tried to help him cover up the crime, but eventually his actions were discovered. After months of denials, he finally admitted to what he had done, telling police that when he murdered the victim, he cut off her breasts as she did not deserve to die like a fucking woman. Coombs pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison in 2011, and this time it seems likely that he will stay there for the rest of his days. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to John Leslie Coombs, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.